What's going on everybody? My name's Andrew and today I'm going to be doing our first tutorial on our channel. Uh, it's basically going to be an introduction into VR development, specifically in Unity with the HTC Vive and VRTK, which is a virtual reality toolkit, which is an open source project out on GitHub. It's basically got a bunch of examples of how to do stuff in Unity uh, 5 and above, and we're going to use it for the Vive today. So first things first, I, you can see here I'm in a brand new Unity project. I'm on 5.5.1. Anything in Unity 5 or above should work though, so that should be fine. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and go to the Asset Store and download a couple of things. First off, we're going to need VRTK. So we're going to go ahead and import that. Download it if you don't have it, which you probably don't. So download it and import it. And then just hit import. And then we're also going to need Steam VR once this is done. All right, so then we're going to get Steam VR. Download it, import this as well. Both of these are free uh, plugins. Okay, so I imported that. Now let's check out what we have inside of VRTK here after this is done. So basically uh, the virtual reality toolkit comes with a bunch of example scenes and uh, scripts and stuff that are really, really helpful. So if you guys are interested in VR development at all, I would suggest looking through those and we're gonna be building something that kind of combines a few things that they demonstrate in those examples. So let's go into VRTK. Oh, when this comes up, you can just hit accept all to get the settings correct for Steam VR. Oh, look, we made the right choice. Okay, so we're gonna go into VRTK, then examples, then we're gonna go into 001 camera rig. And I'm gonna kind of go through what we have in the scene here to explain what's going on. So, okay, let's see. We've just got a cube that's gonna act as the floor for the scene, a light, that's fine. Then we've got something interesting. So we've got this camera rig object, which is basically a prefab from VRTK that kind of is gonna help us uh, contain like the controllers and the headset and kind of link that up between the virtual reality toolkit library and Steam VR for us. So that is something that you would just drag in from the library into your scene. Then we have this VRTK object, which contains the VRTK SDK manager script. So this is how we link up the uh, the functions and method calls for VRTK to Steam VR. So for simplicity's sake, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this uh, scene and then move it on over to our assets and just rename it and open that up. Okay, so now we have a pretty good starting point for this for this scene. So what we're going to need to do. First, you can see in this VRTK SDK manager, we've got this script alias left controller and script alias right controller. So what we're going to want to do is create objects that are gonna represent our VRTK controllers. So first, let's just go ahead and add an empty object and name it right controller. And then in that script, we can go to right controller and link it up. Now we're gonna have to add several things for what we're doing here. So basically in this example, I wanna show you guys how to do uh, controller interactions with UI elements. And so we're gonna do something pretty simple. It's gonna be a color picker. We're gonna have three sliders for red, blue, and green values. And then based on those values, we'll have an object, just say a cube in the scene. And those uh, values are gonna affect the color that's rendered onto the cube. So we're gonna be interacting with the buttons and the the sliders and the UI in the uh, canvas in Unity. So onto this right controller object, we're gonna add a few components. First, we're gonna need VRTK controller events. And so this is gonna link us up uh, with all of the button press events for the controller. Then we're gonna add VRTK pointer. And this is gonna be how we interact with the UI. So if you've ever, used VR, um, you'll know that like to teleport around 
uh, games and stuff, if you press like a different button, uh, like the touchpad or the trigger, it'll render like this pointer object that'll come out of the controller. That's what this is going to be. So we have the VRTK pointer, and then we also need the VRTK straight pointer renderer. And this is actually going to be how the pointer renders in the space. So then for VRTK pointer, we need to select that pointer renderer as our pointer renderer. So we're going to go here into scene, right controller. The last thing we're going to need is VRTK UI pointer. And so we can leave all these settings uh, as the base. You could change a few things if you wanted to, like you could change the pointer color to blue. Let's just do that. Okay. So now we're going to duplicate this object and name it left controller. And then we're going to uh, go into VRTK again and then select the left controller as the script alias left controller. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create a canvas. So in our uh, hierarchy here, we're going to do UI canvas. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to have to change a couple things on this canvas as well. So first of all, we need to make the render mode of the canvas world space. Then let's just set this to a good place where we can see it. Uh, 300 by 300. Then we're going to have to down the scale a bunch. There's our canvas, let's rotate it. Okay. So you can see that our player object is here, and then we've got this canvas here. Now onto this canvas object, we need to add a script called VRTK UI Canvas. And this is gonna basically transform this from just a plain old Unity canvas into something we can interact with in the VR. So with that, we're going to go ahead and test this out. Uh, let me see if my VR setup is going to work here. All right, I'm back. I had to cut there. I had to resync my controllers. Um, so let's go ahead and test this out. So we're going to go into play. And we'll grab the headset. You can see that we can look around. And then with the controller, you can see that. And then if we press the touchpad, we get our pointer. If we look over here, we can see that's where the canvas is. Um, and then... It's invisible because we don't have anything on it, but let's go ahead and add those components now. So we'll exit play mode. And like I said, we're making a color picker. So we're going to use three sliders here. So on our canvas, we're going to go UI. Let's add a text first. Let's add a label for the red slider. Just call it R. And then we'll add a slider. Call it red slider. And we can leave these as the default values to pass into the, the color constructor uh, later on in our script. So zero to one is fine. Uh, so then let's position these. And then we'll duplicate them for green and blue. So this will be G, make that G. This will be B, B. This will be green slider, and this will be blue slider. So then we'll move these down right there and right there. Okay, RGB. Now let's create a object for the cube that we're going to change the color of. Right there is fine. And we will call this color cube. Now we need to make a script to hook up these uh, these on value changed events to to something that's going to change the color of the cube. So let's make a script. We'll do C sharp. We'll call it color slider. Then we can open that up. Uh, first, we'll attach it onto the color cube. Okay. Then we'll open that up. And there we go. Okay. So let's create a few variables to hold our RGB values. Then we're gonna make some methods called uh, red changed. And then we're gonna pass in a float value. And in here, 
we'll just do this dot red equals value. And then we're going to call a method that we'll create called set color. Then we can copy this for green and blue. Inside green equals value. Blue changed. Then we can do a last method called set color. And that's going to set the main color of this cube. So we're going to do uh, get component renderer renderer dot material dot color equals new color. And we're going to construct the color here. So we'll say red, oops, red, green, blue. And that should be good. So then we'll go back into Unity. Okay, so then we've got it on this uh, color cube object. So then what we need to do is in red slider, add uh, an item here, select from the scene color cube, and go into color slider, dynamic float, and this is the red slider, so we'll do red changed. And then we'll do the same thing for green and blue. So green, and then we'll select our object, color cube, Color slider green changed. Same thing for blue. Oops. Color slider blue changed. Okay, and that should be it. Uh, so we can see that this will work here. Um, we can select these three, change that to editor and runtime, and then we can see. So all of these are at zero, so it changed the cube to black. Then if we were to change the value of red, up to one, it's gonna be pretty red. Same thing with the green and blue. Okay, so Unity is gonna warn us that we shouldn't do that. Um, so we can just change that back to runtime and then we'll run it. So we can see with the headset, we can look around here. There's the cube, there's the sliders. Then with the controller, we can press the pad and then the default to actually click these, you do the trigger. So we can uh, do the pad and then the trigger on the slider to change it. So you can bring up the red, the green, and the blue all the way and it'll make white. Pretty neat. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, not too complicated. Didn't have too much code going on. Uh, and it's it's actually really easy with Steam VR and VRTK to just kind of get a scene in there, get the camera working with the with the headset, and then sky's the limit from there. You can pretty much do anything that your heart desires. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we're probably going to be doing some more Unity Vive stuff coming soon, so look out for those. Thanks for watching.